Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you're at. Salute. This is King Crypto in the house. Today I have a really good video. I honestly believe it's one of the best um, trading videos I've made. I've I've put many hours into researching unique indicators that aren't typically used by beginner traders or you know for the most part this particular setup is not exactly uh, it's an unorthodox system that works very well and a beginner uh, trader if you are one will benefit just as much as a moderate or advanced trader this system has yet to fail me uh, I either profit or I just end up breaking even I never lose money using this process and I profit so what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how it works why it works and a real-time example of a trade I did within five minutes and uh, yeah let's get started so our first indicator is going to be called the SSL hybrid SSL hybrid is essentially a series of moving averages you're just gonna click the top result series of moving averages that's gonna determine a price change um, a trending price uh, so any type of reversal that could happen is our buy or sell signal and what I'm doing here is I'm just brightening up the uh, buy and sell signals and you'll see that in a moment uh, why that's important you can also see here here you go um, plus ATR minus ATR get rid of that we don't need that for this we can see a lot of information here we can see as I zoom in we're gonna see buy and sell signals as you can see it's not really it's pretty self-explanatory but it's not always the only measure we're looking for we can also see the line in the middle of this these are the moving averages and we're looking at blue and red candles so the price might go down or up but we're looking at this as a general trend uh, so these are for short-term plays long-term plays but we need more information because this can fake us out next off we have the QQE mod this is called the qualitative quantitative estimation um, you're gonna click the first thing you see here and what we can see is something kind of similar to what we're seeing here we're dealing with blue trends so this is when there's a trend on the upside this is measuring momentum and uh, also momentum downward we can see in a gray area this is when the lines are sort of touching um, this is when a reversal is in effect but not necessarily yet um, so we just have another measure of that with the QQE mod the momentum part and the time part with QQE mod is really what's the most effective about it in my opinion um, we can really gauge where there's going to be like a like a big upside trend like I'll just take an example of this this is a long time this is a long period where uh, things are oversold things are a lot of selling pressure and it just doesn't stop for about a few months so when you see something like this this gives you a very good indicator time is on our side at this point time is on our side to uh, trust in the factors that I'm gonna speak so this is just another reason it's still not the full picture though and last but not least we have the money flow index um, so you're just gonna type that in like so technicals and here we go so the money flow index is essentially an RSI but it also accounts for volume it's going to show us oversold or overbought signals within an asset so this is just another tool or another reason for us to either uh, buy more Bitcoin or short Bitcoin whichever whichever the trend is uh, going is essentially what we are looking for and we want to have as many reasons as possible that's what indicates what I would call a perfect clean setup so um, without further ado let's get into some examples okay everyone so let's get into 
the whole point of why I'm making this video. I'm gonna try to do this fairly quickly and concisely because I want you to see the real time footage of how this is done. But we're just gonna focus on the keys of uh, why this works. So we'll deal with the short position for now. And what we can see in this general daily, uh, daily chart here is um, Bitcoin from March, February, really. Yeah, February 24th all the way to April 17th has for the most part been in a positive trend. So there's buying it's and it's positive to sideways as we can see here. So this is all good. You can make these plays as well. No problem with that, but I don't want to cover like too much, right? I'm not going to do every single time it works. So here's just a perfect example right here, though. We could see an overbought position or signal right here. And this lasts for a few days. So this is a sign of this is a sign of a downward momentum. It's the first step. This is chronological order, too. These can be subject to change. But that's our first signal. And on this day, on April 18th, we have three signals telling us all in one that it's time to short Bitcoin, right? Or it's time to sell it, however you prefer. We have a sell signal here. We have a gray candle, meaning it went through our moving average on SSL hybrid and it's in the middle of it. So that's a sign of a reversal. This is a sign of a reversal because we can see that there's another gray, uh, there's another gray moment here. And the next day there is no candle. And that's usually the greatest indicator that you're, you're, you're going to profit if you short. And again, we have momentum, time, price, sell signal. It's a perfect setup to sell. And at this point, you would, if you were to do so, you would get down to uh, April 26th. You'd make a 20% profit if you short, if leverage trade 10x, that's 200%. Um, meanwhile, doing all the uh, healthy habits of a trader, meaning you would put your profits every day, make sure you're keeping yourself paying attention to this line so that you don't lose any money in the process just in case something some weird black swan event would happen um, but as it continually goes down you're just profiting more and more and um, you know this is a perfect setup so that's one example we have another example here just to emphasize that these things can take some time and it does not matter where this it's all about everything in alignment. It doesn't have to be the same day. So like for this example, we get a sell signal here, but we don't have um, we don't have everything else in alignment. So technically you shouldn't put your sell, you shouldn't short at this point because money flow index is in the middle. So it's too stable. It's too stable for a volatile move until we get to May 9th or even May 8th to 9th. We can see it's overbought just about overbought once it's close to the line that's a good example and especially when it's over the line it's almost inevitable that we're going to see a negative trend so at this point we have one last thing for the qqe mod we can see this is still green but we have the gray area or the no area which is even better on this day so we have Bitcoin, it's still looking positive, but we've have everything's in alignment now. Momentum isn't as intense as the one before, but again, everything is in alignment. This is just more of a confidence booster the longer time passes. But again, I would this is where you sell. Because the the five or the four things we're looking for, including some kind of momentum, is all in play. And again, you would just write it down. Be healthy with your habits. Don't just sell. Um, all right, I'm just sounding stupid. <laughs> uh, yeah, just what this is the word. I just said it, bro. Do freaking, uh, you know, profits. Put your profits in as it's going down. Make sure that you're catching some of these um, positions. So we'll do one more. Let's see what time it is. All right, we're good. We'll do one more 
And this is a situation where everything's positive. This is really good stuff. So again, we can see the money flow index from here is pretty good. This is oversold. There's, um, there's three indicators. So we have a sell signal here. We have this. And we have this. This is all good stuff. It's still in a negative trend anyway, though. And it's been like that since uh, since the 8th of September. So we don't want to go off that alone. But you save this information for another time, right? Because it's uh, this oversold tells us something about the future. And next we have alignment. And it, it happens pretty relatively quickly. On this day, we can see the gray forming. Um, we could see things starting to change and then on this day the next day we can see we could see the real reversal beginning um, so at this point is when you would buy in you do that ride it as long as you can this is a sign that things could go the opposite direction but again there's no momentum shifting we're on a blue line we're on blue candles. There's no gray area. So we wouldn't sell yet. Until we reach this point, we can see that this is now in alignment. This is in alignment. This is about, this is now, it's just turned to a, a shift on the downward side fairly quickly. We can see that the QQE mod is also indicating that we're up about the momentum's at like 31. Anything over 30 is a very good indication things are gonna change. So if you were to do this perfectly, you would you would actually sell here because we have the gray, right? Just for this play. So I measured it as from here to here. And that's, that's perfect alignment with uh, what we're dealing with because we have the gray as well. So just that alone is 44%. 0.7 and again if you put your profits up if you keep updating your profit margin um, in this position you can you can profit at this point right I mean even if it were to go below for 30 you know 63,000 you're, you're protecting yourself by getting the most out of the trade so let's uh, let's get into a real-time trade to show you how this goes so uh, I want to break down a real-time trade I made after checking the charts yesterday. Uh, this was at 11 a.m. Uh, everything was just in perfect alignment. Uh, I purchased this leveraged 100x trade uh, on PrimeXBT.com, and there's proof. So uh, at this point, this is the chart. Like, it's a beautiful setup, and this is on the five-minute chart. So you can apply this. You can apply this on a five-minute chart if you want to go quick and you can get confirmation on the 15 minute chart and the 30 minute chart typically when you see it beginning on the five minute chart we can see the trend um, the bot the buy signal is our first trend and then we see the switch starting to occur um, about 20 minutes later we see an oversold position at this point it is under the line and we can see the gray candle forming on our QQE mod. So this is straight up, this is it. I mean, this is everything I've been talking about. We also have a lot of momentum, as you can see down on the QQE mod, that white line, uh, that actually extends a little bit further. And we have the perfect setup. So watch what happens on the perfect setup. All right, um, right now I'm in a trade. It's 11 o'clock and uh, I didn't have time to record when I bought because I had to get in immediately. But right now, I, I purchased Bitcoin at 39200 Right now, I'm going to show you the alignment of everything. Everything is really looking uh, perfect at this point. We have a buy signal. We have the gray candle on the QQE mod. We have an oversold position and the money flow index. And we have momentum on our side. This I don't think this can fail. It's already taken off right now. Um, so yeah, time, time is, time is on our side. Holy fuck. Uh, all right. Time's on your side. And, uh, in a situation like this, it's just beautiful to show you the real time 
results. So not much yet. Uh, we're just going to give it some time. Volatility, momentum, I think it's going to rip up a lot. So let's just come back to it. All right, guys. So as you can see, in literally five minutes, uh, the price of Bitcoin went from the the buying uh, signal that I took at th thirty nine thousand two hundred, and now it's it's already it's going up to forty thousand. Um, so that's like a per. I don't I don't know exactly how much that just went up, but we could see here that I just freaking killed it, man. Like that was just that was kind of lucky that I saw it like that that quick. Um, and I'm happy that I could just show you that quickly. But, you know, it always feels good to have a, a win like this. And um, I just need to see. This is a 100x leverage trade. So I put 0 0.001 Bitcoin into this trade. Not a lot of money. We're just having fun. But um, for the purpose of this video, it just really worked out. And now we can see that there is a, it's starting to get overbought really quickly. And just to be comfortable, I would, I, I'm going to sell at this point um, because a rip like that, it's going to correct a little bit. So I'd rather just stop. Okay. So here we are. I sold, um, I sold and I made a hundred dollars. Not bad. So I took a screenshot of my play. We could see I got an ROI of 407%. I doubled the amount of Bitcoin in my wallet for this particular trade and um, just worked out beautifully. So this, this works. This strategy works really well. If you feel like you've gotten anything out of this video, please subscribe. I have a lot more coming than just this. Uh, this is so fun to me to be able to create things that are actually valuable for you guys. And um, I really would like the reciprocation of a subscribe if you liked it. If not, forget about it, but it's all good either way. King Crypto out.